A BaseNet Intermedia Group production. From BaseNet, it's about Los Angeles, with stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire. Now, here's Julie Marie about Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and I'm here in downtown LA at one of the first big races of 2014. Much needed. <laughs> yes, much needed. This is my first one this year, coming back from an injury, so it'd be nice. Time to get moving. Yes. Yep. This was the main goal as they ran in downtown LA. The city of Los Angeles closed down for a couple of hours to allow over 6,000 of its residents to run in either a half marathon or a 5K run. Participants had their own personal expectations for the night run. The finish line. Uh, coming back, because the hills are on the first half. Yeah. Seeing L.A. at night, it's beautiful. Running around Dodger Stadium, because I might honestly veer off course and try and hug the stadium. Just riding through downtown at night and leading, leading the charge. A drum line welcomed the runners back as they made their way toward an iconic L.A. vision. They started in Persian Square, rounded past Dodger Stadium, and finally ended at the iconic Staples Center. And by the end, the finishers had a sense of accomplishment for the new year. Awesome, you know, we're having everybody out here. I had a lot of fun because the streets were closed off for all of us. When they saw the finish line, they got really, they had no idea what they were doing until they saw the finish line and figured that it, it was a race. I liked it when um, the homeless people were cheering on. That kind of gave me, like, an encouragement. It just totally transformed me. Like, the music. Actually, I had my music on, and then I took it off because I had never heard the pitter-patter of so many feet. It sounded like rain. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles.